I have a few project shares for you guys today and I'm going to start off with this tag. This is another watercolored image with the Gerwin Inktense pencils, but this image I colored in less than five minutes. And so yesterday I had done a tutorial on coloring with the Inktense pencils and spent quite a bit of time coloring this same image. So I just wanted to show that you can really, in a very quick way, get a beautifully colored image with those same pencils. I used three different colors, the yellow, red, and gray, well, and a little bit of orange on his beak. And with this one, I lightly colored the whole image um, using the side of the pencil, watered it down, you know, um, watercolored with the ink that was on there, and then I came back over the top and did one more layer super quick. So that's just another way that you can use those pencils. Um, I used a thin die, tag shape thin die to cut out the watercolor paper as well as the chevron paper and then some notebook paper and adhered those all together. I used a Martha Stewart punch here and a little high word die. And then also in the background, I'm not sure if you can see it, I put some, I used a white paint pen and you can faintly see some little dots on there. And then I also used um, the same glitter pens that I used in the video yesterday. So there's that. And then I made this shaker card the other day using this Cam and Chloe stamp from AC Moore. And this was the idea I had when I purchased the stamp was to cut out the center, which I did with a thin die and make a little shaker out of it. I used some vellum and my Martha Stewart tiny little flower punch and cut out all these vellum pieces and then colored them with a Copic marker and put some Wink of Stella on there. I cut out these the little banner pieces in this row and popped them up. I also cut out and paper pieced the lid with some gray paper and added some Wink of Stella to that and then just embossed Happy Day with some color box ink and a little bit of clear glitter embossing powder. And then I also put some micro beads in there and some glass glitter along with the flowers. So I really like the way that that turned out. And then my last thing here is this card. I purchased the White Stays On ink pad which is the one that you have to add the ink to. And if anybody has any information about how often you need to ink that pad, it's said to put five to eight drops on there to wet the pad, but I literally had to put about 50 to get the whole top of the pad wet, so I think I used about half of the bottle. So I'm not sure how often you need to do that. So if anybody has any experience with that, please leave a comment. But so here's, I used, um, this was another Cam and Chloe. It's the heart background stamp that I used. And so I stamped on there with the white ink. And in my head, I thought that when I cut this on a diagonal, it would make, you could just separate it and have it make a square when you were done, but it does not work that way. So um, it's not a perfect square. So I added this little border on top of it. And then I love red and aqua together. So I cut out the love um, word of the aqua and then popped up a couple hearts from the same paper. So it kind of simple, kind of complicated at the same time. And then just finished off the inside with some coordinating papers. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, let me know and have a super great day. Bye-bye.